Yeah, Ixis, battles the main in Brawl, moves to Sonic in Smash 4. It was, uh, very notable Sonic as a result. And he's now playing Wolf in, um, in Ultimate. Not a character loyalist, and that's, that's a good thing, man. That's, it means you don't get tied down when things go wrong. And right now, at least at the start of this game, Wolf's doing good for him. 18% lead on Jaxa. Jaxa not using the reflector there. And, and same with Ixis with him. Tries to go for the down smash 2 for him. Oh, he kept his jump. Good stuff, good stuff. Doesn't get that up here though. Jackson gets his up tilt into the back here though. I don't know how well versed Ixis is with this matchup, but I know Jackson played it a couple of times. Don't know if he likes the matchup though. But it's looking fairly even right now. Ixis has got the lead, but very, very doable for Jackson to bring this lead back. But if he gets hit by a couple more of those back airs, then that that's deficit's gonna get worse. And F tilt just cleans him out. Ixis now of a I wouldn't say a comfortable stock lead. Now Smash cleans up for Jaxter. 40%, that's not bad. I, I actually think Jaxter can get that with like one conversion from up tilt or up throw. Even at 66, this is still very easy for him to bring this back with one win in neutral. Go play Aperture. Who's taking over? I gotta go play Aperture now, so that's gonna be destruction for him. I'll leave you in the cable hands of burning. Right. So I'm probably going to end up like coughing every other minute. So I apologize in advance if I have these random mutes in between. What the hell has gotten in the way? Okay, there we go. Right, so. Spacey's battlefield, he's stuck up, he reflected. Mm, I know how this is going. Ixus is winning. As. Yeah, ooh, yeah, he doesn't have much choice. Okay, so that there did not at all beat the Firebird. Interesting. Well, now we know about that one, but that was probably, probably just the way he came up with them there. Because he, he was kind of like sticking him out, but there was like this just sort of gap in between the body and the hurt box. Oh. Right, so this is uh, can Jax to get the big Falco bird co brain combos? And when I say bird brain, I don't mean it like you know, it's actually bird brain. I mean it as if uh, you get the idea. Basically, up tilt to several up airs into something else. But Wolf is pretty terrifying even when you're at the percent such as this. You usually last pretty high in Ultimate, but it's Wolf. These are the combos that we're talking about. These are the combos I'm looking for. Sorry. Oh, it's really hard to commentate and try not to cough. I shouldn't be on it. Jackson. Ooh, Jackson was making that one back really well. Unfortunately, that back just wasn't spaced well enough. Because he's capitalized on that one. Taking that first game. Uh, what is. <laughs> Jackson, what? What is he eating? Is that a sandwich? He's hungry. Man.
Is he thinking about the stage or is he thinking about the food? Thinking whether it tastes nice. Is it a bit too sour or what? Harry Grande. Alright. Snack time over. Spotify time on. Wait, hang on, I'm lost. So, uh, bracket just completely disappeared from my head. Hoomst lose to Hoomst. Oh, no one lost to Hoomst. Okay, I'm just stupid. Right, my bad. I'm stupid as always. Um, okay, fuck. Alright, what's up everyone? I've come to relieve Burning from the mic. Uh, he's very poorly at the moment. Uh, it's 2v again. What are we looking at at the moment? Jets are in excess. Both at relatively high percent. Both players just fishing for the kills at the moment. But nothing's quite, quite coming through yet. Now off stage, Blaster gets reflected. Down tilt misses. The late, late Ned doesn't kill Falk, doesn't kill Jetsa. Looks like it would have though. Up tilt. Fair. Jetsa's getting hits, but he's not getting his confirms. But that's going to get him so far enough on, far enough off stage for Aces to lose that stock. Jetsa still needs to be very careful as he's as he's at a very convincing kill percent for Aces. That throw is going to confirm it from center stage. Both players are now two stops apiece at zero percent. Up tilts, up air misses. But it's finally frame tracks into the grab, misses the second up tilt. But he has him off stage. Basically, Ditto's on Yoshi's, that's it, man. Looking like a little bit planet right now. Landing there from Ixis. Runs up with grab. Arch pass out of shields on Jet on Jets's landing back here, I believe that was. It's just gonna take that stock. And both players are playing quite quite safe at the moment. They're just throwing out throwing out buttons from quite far away. Don't wanna, don't wanna risk anything ambitious at the moment. Both kind of trying to hit the opponent at the furthest. As far away from both trying to hit their opponent as safely as possible. Neither of them. Jets are just standing at the ledge. Both respecting each other very, very much right now. Neither of them want to want to make any commitments because they know of the they know of each other's caliber and how much each other are capable of. Edelred on the Edelred with an up air. Jets is Jets are. Now evening out the stocks, but still has about 32% to make up. Reflects the laser, it just jumps right over it, runs in with a grab. 
Jetster covering it, covering his ledge jump with forward air. Jab, jab, jab. Haven't seen him do it in a while, so Jetster wasn't ready for the second or third hit. Harry is the side B, but it doesn't matter. Jets to side B has a, I believe it had a little bit of less lag because he was recovering from off stage. Late down air doesn't, it doesn't gimp him. Almost got the down air, but wasn't able to quite capitalize on that edge guard. Four throw. Also doesn't connect. Tries to catch the side B with, with drop down fair, just about misses the splits. He just makes it back. But the back air. That's now one for one. Both players have a game under their belts as we go into game three. We'll see where Exodus wants to go for this last game. Ah, okay. Uh, Jets and Nitz are supposed to stay in with Wolf and Falco respectively. Let me see what they go for. Nitz has chose FD for this. Doesn't want Jax to have any sort of platform pressure on him with those up tilts. Misses the frame trap grab. It's just missing a grab of his own, but Jax doesn't capitalize on it. Reflects the laser back. Nothing off it. Down smash doesn't connect. Jax is staying close to the stage. Hugging it tight. Blaster goes just under the reflect into Jaxter. Up to up air. Waits for, waits for it just to press a button, but nothing from him. Nix just doesn't want to show Jetster any any of his panic options. This is the run-up grab. Sorry if I'm yawning. It's uh, it's been a fairly long day for me. Um, Jetster's let's jump gets caught by Exus's uh, back air. Good read from Exus there. Doesn't get the up, doesn't get the up tilt catch on the on the air dodge. Last of them, but Jackson fares right through it. Tries to get him with a down smash, but nothing off it. Forward air, and that looked like a tricky di, but Exus is going to lose that stock to forward air. Jetster again is empty hop covered by Jack Bites's forward tilt. Down tilt, down throw, dash attack doesn't connect. It's just jab barely outranges. Up tilt. Up air doesn't connect in time. Maybe he tried to go for a full hop. Double jump empty hop. And that up smash is going to cover Jetster landing right on top of Ixis. Up, oh, Jetster up. Double jump up, dumb jump up his, his ledge. Up tilt. Forward that doesn't connect. Ixis has him in the air. Blaster. Goes for a nair, doesn't get it. 
But that was his up B, I believe. But Ix is going to take that 1-2-1. One, one. Good stuff to him. Um, and I believe next up we have Crispy and Streaks? Question mark. We will find out in a second. Streaks is getting ready to play.